Hey guys, Seleno here from PlayToEarn.net. Get ready for the inside scoop on the latest and greatest in the blockchain gaming world. Welcome to part 2 of our weekly news series, where we bring you the most exciting news from the blockchain gaming scene. For this episode, we're putting the spotlight on teasers, sneak peeks, and announcements. From upcoming games to new features, we've got all the juicy details you need to know. So buckle up, grab a drink, and get ready for a ride as we bring you the latest in blockchain gaming news. To start off our list, Eartha shares details on resources, including metals, minerals, and more. Developer 3 Tower Game Studio has released details on various resources for the wealthy MMORPG Eartha, including info on metals, minerals, rocks, wood, and fish. Info on these resources, which players will be able to gather in version 1.0 of the blockchain title, was revealed across a couple of medium posts from the team throughout last week, starting with the fish resource. There will be a couple of different types of fish players will be able to catch in Eartha version 1.0, including salmon, trout, shark, swordfish, and bluefin tuna. How efficient you are in catching will depend on employees' fishing skill level, while the level of the company has an effect on how big the storage is and how much employees are able to work in the same company. Catching fish is important for the safety of Earthians, as filling up hunger regenerates energy, with rare fish restoring more hunger. But in order for fish to be edible, it must first be sent to a food processing company. On the other hand, metals come in five different rarities, from common to epic, with each rarity containing a different type of metal. Common ores include iron, aluminum, and copper, while platinum is the only metal of epic rarity. Players can find ores by making a mine to work in, while the ores can be turned into metal bars over at a metal factory. This type of resource is crucial for crafting various items, building structures, and more. Wood is divided in the same way as metals are, and are collected using a forestry company, with a cutting skill affecting efficiency. Logs can be processed at a wood factory, and the newly gained planks can be used for numerous different things, including crafting decorations, storage items, and more. And lastly, minerals are split into uncommon, rare, and epic rarities, while the rock resource is divided into four different types, limestone, salt, sand, and clay. With minerals, players can create jewelry with various buffs, while rocks play an essential role in making buildings. You can see here for more details on both types of resources. Oh, um, next, Micropets announces exciting updates. Micropets, a popular blockchain-based game, recently announced updates that have fans buzzing. The company revealed that the keys to Petropolis Vault will hold a unique, non-transferable, and unsellable NFT, which is vital to accessing the anticipated Petropolis. Players who hold this key will be guaranteed a past land allocation when the land sale begins. The vault will release one key every month until the land sale starts, and players must have 10 Pets 2D NFTs to enter the draw. The Pets 2D NFTs serve multiple purposes within the MicroPets ecosystem. A portion of sales goes towards charity, specifically Pets charities, while the 2D NFT also enhances the player's MicroPets runner bonus. This enables users to collect more coins, an in-app currency that can be swapped for other cryptocurrencies. MicroPets 2D NFTs add a significant 2% bonus when swapping in-game coins for coins, making them a powerful asset for increasing your bonus. The more you hold, the more you can earn. Additionally, these NFTs grant access to upcoming vaults associated with Magic Chest events. The DeFi Friends Vault, which requires a minimum of 5 2D NFTs, will host projects sharing similar enthusiasm and goals as MicroPets. The Keys to Petropolis Vault, requiring at least 10 2D NFTs, will provide users with a whitelist spot for the future Petropolis land sale. With every 2D NFT purchased, $10 will be donated to a vetted charity chosen by the community. Donations are made for every 100 NFT sold, amounting to $1,000 per donation. 100% of the funds from 2D sales, excluding charity donations, are reinvested into the project for the development of new products in Petropolis. There are no creator or ownership fees involved. MicroPets is dedicated to its community, consistently seeking feedback from users. The company's recent update demonstrates its commitment to providing an engaging and rewarding experience for its players, while also supporting charitable causes. By introducing the keys to Petropolis Vault and boosting the benefits of 2D NFTs, MicroPets is positioning itself for a bright future in the world of blockchain gaming. If you're liking this news list so far, remember to check out our website and news section to be updated on everything about blockchain gaming. You can also subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay updated on all our videos. Now let's get back to the list. Up next, Farmer Pets reveals drop details and game tips ahead of launch. Farmer Pets developer Metasource Games has recently published details on upcoming drop sales and strategies ahead of the game's launch, which is scheduled for April 28th. On the same day the game launches, the developers will commence their early access drop at 11 a.m. PT. The drop contains a limited supply of diamond packs, with a specific amount yet to be announced at the time of this recording. This means that in this drop, you'll have a chance of getting a diamond land bundle for $35 and a diamond tool pack for $14. These tools cannot be crafted in the game, but they're the best you can have and come with a 10% yield bonus. Those who are on the whitelist will get a 5 minute head start with their own limited supply. You can get on this whitelist by owning a Baron or Castle Mythic land in your wax wallet. These are NFTs from the team's other game, Castle's NFT. This drop will be followed by the main drop of diamond packs, scheduled for May 5th, and then the gold packs and land packs drop on May 12th. The gold tools are also not craftable. According to the company's medium post, the best strategy for the early part of the game is to stake 5 tools to one land that matches its tool type, with the developers stating that lands are important because they give your tool a discount to repair and use daily. 
the game uses a season system, with every season lasting two weeks. Summer will be the first season the game will start in, providing a random season effect that we include 5% in food, wood, or silver earnings. Other season bonuses are more specific. Fall grants 5% wood tool earnings, winter brings 5% silver tool earnings, and spring comes with 5% food tool earnings. With this info, players are given time to properly adjust for every season, with summer being the most unpredictable one. The resources you earn, which are food, wood, and silver, will be tradable on the Atomic Hub. Next to resource gathering, players will also be able to collect a variety of different pets that will be customizable with various different accessories, while climbing up the leaderboards in an effort to earn NFTs and various rare prizes. More details can be found here. Up next, Galaxy Fight Club shares new gameplay updates and ecosystem partnership. Galaxy Fight Club, a cross-IP NFT game, has released more details on its latest gameplay and business partnership with Magic Square. In terms of game development, the team intends to release the Biopill cooldown along with other new features and improvements in the next update. The user interface has been overhauled, resulting in a more visually appealing and user-friendly interface. PC users could also enjoy a fully playable build with integrated cross-play functionality. Active bots will be released in the Battle Royale mode, adding to the game's challenges and excitement. On top of that, users can play with GFT companions as the next build, which are digital pets that act as players' sidekicks in the Battle Royale. The team has also polished the spectator mode for each map and game mode, offering users a better viewing experience. While there are not many details yet, the developers have teased the impending release of GFC Battle Royale, a last man standing game mode that many players have been waiting for. The long-awaited gameplay is now in its final testing phase. A custom input system will be included, allowing players to customize the button positions on the phone screen to their liking. According to the devs, this will help players create combinations that maximize their chances of winning and attract pro gamers to try out the game. The team has also added Ultra Mode, an advanced graphics quality level for players with powerful devices. The new Ultra Mode comes with better graphics, more realistic lighting, HDR support, and etc. Other than that, Galaxy Fight Club has partnered with Magic Square, a unified web team platform with over 250,000 users, to increase awareness of GFC and onboard new users into the ecosystem. To learn more, you can check out the official post here. And lastly, Devikins to kick off the Spring Foraging event after Combat's early access. Turn-based blockchain RPG Devikins recently announced the Spring Foraging event as the team prepares for combat gameplay. The early access of combat will debut on April 19th, with Spring Foraging available from April 21st to 24th. Many long-awaited PvP elements, such as the asynchronous PvP Weekly League, Storyboat, and PvP Seasons will be included in combat. However, players will need weapons, equipment, and skills before engaging in PvP battles. This is where Spring Forging comes into play, as the event allows players to create almost every gear they need. The event will be in the form of a random forge, one of the four types of forging. Throughout the event, players get germ-made costumes, pet skins, weapon skins, and even slot items like chips and cartridges. More importantly, players will get a chance to earn themselves a unique weapon skin. Everyone will have a 10% chance to earn the blue easter gun above, and a 0.5% chance to get the coveted lilac easter gun below. The team will post a tutorial soon on what resources are required. Interested players must keep an eye out for further announcements. While some players might question how fancy eggs and fuzzy tails can make up a proper weapon, the team has assured everyone that if a Debican thinks it should work, it probably will. The cuter weapon is, the more dangerous it could be. A seasonal element will also launch along with early access, allowing players to exchange the voice crafts for forging materials. Around 20,000 NFTs will be minted during the event, with another 100,000 combat NFTs up for grabs. With Spring Forging coming soon, players may want to find out what it takes to craft their favorite weapons. And that's a wrap for today's news video. Be sure to tune in tomorrow as we delve into the final segment of our weekly news update, exploring the big news stories from the world of blockchain gaming that don't fit in the first two categories. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.